Turn now to dozens of dragon boats that will be racing at a festival in D.C. this weekend to celebrate AANHPI Heritage Month. And Jacqueline Lee has that story. Hey, Rebecca, good morning to you. The D.C. Dragon Boat Festival will be celebrating its 21st anniversary, and this is the perfect blend of culture and competition. 51 teams, 20 paddlers each. One winner. Look sexy, guys and gals, come on. The Dragon Boat Festival here in the nation's capital, drawing in teams from all across the country. I love the camaraderie of our club. The sport itself is very welcoming and supportive, and it's just a great way to stay in shape. Dragon boat racing is an ancient Chinese tradition stemming back more than 2,000 years when fishermen raced their boats to save a beloved poet and politician named Chu Yuan. Since then, it's transformed into an internationally competitive sport with teams across the world. Prince William racing in Singapore just last year. It's just one of these things that once people do it, it really catches on and it's something that can be done anywhere in the world where there's water. The festival kicks off with a traditional eye dotting ceremony when eyes get painted on the mythical dragon to wake it up. The dragon is a symbol of power and believed to rule the water. We wake up the dragons. So the dragon will lead all these people moving forward safely and quickly. And that's a symbol of which a country to move forward. And then it's off to the races. Each team working in sync to cross the finish line. The best part about dragon boat racing is because it's such a large group in order to participate, you get a lot of camaraderie within your team. We enter different level crews, different types of crews and different races up and down the East Coast. Just building that, those friendships there, that's a great part of racing. And guys, what better way to kick off a Friday than right here on the water? And you know, dragon boat racing is one of the fastest growing sports in the entire world. And there's actually a push to make it an official Olympic sport, guys. Who is out there on the boat with you? So I am sitting among the first ladies. Not only are they national champions, but they are competing in the world championship in Italy later this year. But everybody out here on the boats, they are part of the DC Dragon Boat Club. They've been around for 16 years. And what's so cool about this is it is all ages. There are people out here in their 70s. So it's a huge team effort. It's a lot of fun. We have men, women, visually impaired. Every single person can do the sport, guys. We're hearing a drum beat. Is that helping as you all Row. Yeah, so the drum is considered the heartbeat of the boat. It tells the paddlers when to speed up, slow down, and honestly, guys, it's great ambiance. We love this <laughs> out here on the water. So, Jacqueline, there's, there's a DC festival tomorrow. Fill us in. That festival is going to be celebrating their 21st anniversary tomorrow. So, dozens of these boats are going to be taking over the Potomac River. And what's really cool about this is the rowers out here, they say there is no superstar on a single boat. This is a true team effort. They're only as fast as their slowest paddler. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is me today. This is really hard. I'm She's feeling the burn. You're the superstar. You're the superstar. Keep it up. Thank you for bringing so us great. that to us.